Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at Time to Live or TTL in DynamoDB. Time to Live or TTL allows you to define a per item timestamp to determine when an item is no longer needed. DynamoDB automatically deletes the item after the TTL without consuming any WCUs. TTL is useful to reduce the table size by removing items that lose relevance after certain time. TTL works with DynamoDB streams, you can backup or archive expired items via DynamoDB streams. TTL works with global tables, DynamoDB replicates deletions triggered by TTL to all replica tables in other regions. There is no additional cost to use TTL. TTL can help you save costs on data storage and table queries. When you enable TTL on a table, you need to specify a TTL attribute. DynamoDB uses the TTL attribute to determine the item expiration time. The data type of the TTL attribute must be the number type. If you use any other data type, the TTL process will ignore the attribute. The TTL attribute value must be a timestamp in Unix Epic Time format. The Unix Epic Time is a number in seconds that represents a date and time. If you use any other format, the TTL processes ignore the item. The TTL attribute must not be older than 5 years in the past. Otherwise the TTL process won't expire the item. Enabling or disabling TTL settings on a table can take approximately one hour for changes to propagate and to allow any TTL actions to be executed. Once you have set the TTL, you cannot change it to a different attribute. To modify the TTL, you must disable the TTL and re-enable it with a different TTL attribute. User session is a good example of TTL. You can use TTL to store a time-based user session and grant temporary permissions. Suppose you have a table name called session table. Each item is identified by the username and a system generated session ID. The start time attribute tracks when a user starts a session. The end time attribute is a TTL attribute that is set to one hour after the start time. This gives every user an hour session time. When the TTL of a session item expires, DynamoDB automatically deletes the item from the table. Your application checks the session table and requires the user to start a new session every hour. TTL deletes expired items within 48 hours of expiration, in a background process. Depending on the size and activity level of a table, the actual delete time can vary. Items that have expired but not yet been deleted by TTL, may still appear in the result of read operations. However, you can return unexpired items, by using a filter expression to find items with the TTL, that is greater than the current time in EPIC format. You can update items that have expired but not yet been deleted. For example, you can increase the TTL value, or remove the TTL attribute to undo the expiration. The current version, version 2019 of DynamoDB Global Table supports the TTL feature. DynamoDB replicates deletions triggered by TTL to all replica tables. The initial TTL delete doesn't consume any WCUs in the region, where the TTL expiry has occurred. However, the replicated TTL delete consumes a replicated WCU with the provision capacity, or consumes write request unit with the on-demand capacity. TTL is a great feature to store time-relevant data, and automatically delete them when they lose relevance. Here are some common use cases. You can use TTL to store session data, and grant temporary permissions for a specified time. You can use TTL to temporarily store real-time data, such as gaming data and sensory data, to perform some real-time analysis, and move them to the data warehouse for long-term storage. You can use TTL with DynamoDB streams and Lambda functions to perform some post-TTL actions, such as archive expired items to S3, or email customers when their credit cards have expired. You can use TTL to retain data for a certain amount of time, for regulatory or compliance requirements. For example, financial providers are required to keep transactional data for 7 years. You can use TTL to store data for 7 years, and automatically remove them after the expiration. In this episode, we've learned the TTL attribute in DynamoDB. TTL allows you to define a per item expiry time, and delete the item after it's expired. TTL is useful feature to reduce the table size, by removing inactive items after a certain time. The TTL attribute must be a number type in the Unix Epic Time format. TTL works with DynamoDB streams, you can back up or archive expired items via DynamoDB streams. TTL also works with global tables. 
DynamoDB replicates deletions triggered by TTL to all replica tables. Okay, that's all for DynamoDB TTL. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudomy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudomy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.